and I don't know, there was about 20 people, 25 people in there, whatever. Um, and uh, it was, to me, it was really quite daunting uh, sitting there at these little desks and the chap all wandering around to make sure he didn't cheat or whatever. And it was, I think, if I remember correctly, it was about a two or three hour exam, something like that, so it was quite terrific. But of course, I had not that many years before done my sort of matriculation exams and then college exams and all. So I was sort of used to exams, those types of exams, but it still it was quite, uh, quite daunting. Yeah, the other interesting thing, you talk about spies, etc. I mean, I was growing up with amateur radio because my granddad was an amateur radio operator and he got his license about 1932, uh, ZS6A1, then ZS5OM. And so uh, people used to think he was a spy when they used to come and visit us and saw his big equipment in the room. I mean, in those days, amateur radio equipment was huge, big valves and all sorts, and they thought he was a bit of a spy. So you're right, it's a wonder how people conceive the whole thing because you have a radio, sort of, you're a spy, etc. But it's a brilliant hobby. I absolutely love being back. And I've already met some super people. Go ahead. Thank you. 